everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Gabriel Kozak. Uh, today uh, is a special day because, yeah, it's the end of the year, the last day of 2020. And as you know, everyone is willing for the year to just go by. But for me, uh, this is a special day because this is our wedding anniversary. 16 years ago, we got married at around 1 p.m. That was back in Poland. So, uh, I am making something special for my family today. Uh, this is one of our uh, family favorites. We are trying to cut on meat, so uh, it's something that we do only once in a while now, rather than a regular thing. So I'll show you uh, what I need to prep uh, before I put it in the oven. Uh, so this is my meat. Uh, I am using ribs. Uh, I know it may not be the preferable uh, cut of meat for other people, but when it's put in the oven because uh, the fat will be rendered and all gone by the time uh, it's all nicely baked. So, these are the things that I will need. So, I have um, chili flakes. I have uh, olive oil, virgin olive oil. Uh, I have uh, smoked paprika and just normal paprika. I have a uh, ginger, brown ginger. I have uh, garlic uh, granules. I have salt, I have uh, black peppercorns, which I will grind into um, the mixture, and then I have um, honey. So this um, mixture that I will make is going to be hot, chili, peppery, and sweet. This is the one of my family's favorites. So. I will just show you how to do the mixture and then we marinate the meat and after we will keep it um, in the fridge for a couple of hours before we put it in the oven because this is our evening meal and I will be serving it with um, garlic bread and um, a side of a, a salad so that would be excellent.
so there you go it's all nicely uh make sure all the meat is nicely covered with the marinade and then uh, you cover it and uh, it's ready to go into the fridge for a, about three or four hours and then uh, I'm going to put it in the oven for an hour uh, on 180 degrees centigrade that's about uh, 375 Fahrenheit uh, so we'll see the results later uh, so the meat has been marinated, mar marinating for a couple of hours now uh, and it's ready to go for the oven. So you just need to line up your um, baking tray and then just put in your meat. Um, however you put it, it doesn't really matter. You can see it's nice and succulent. Everything is all soaked in the marinade and whatever is left will just pour over the juice onto the meat and we'll put it into the oven the oven is already ready and it is at 180 degrees centigrade and um, it's set for an hour so, I will open my oven. Okay. Bring the meat, the ribs with uh, garlic bread. So, I don't have to do the bread myself. I just buy a box of garlic bread. And because we'll be eating uh, some cake that my husband made during yesterday uh, so I don't need to prepare too much bread because we are eating the bread with the, the ribs plus um, a salad on the side and then we will have dessert uh, the cake that my husband baked I did not bake I didn't have time because I have to go to work and do also other things so that is my uh, garlic bread prepared. It goes in the oven just seven minutes before uh, the meat gets out. So everything is warmed and ready to be served at the same time. So yeah, I will, we will see the end results. So uh, here are the ribs. We're going to put them here at the moment. We don't, any, we don't want anybody to get burned. And I will just take my platter and transfer them onto the platter. So there is my garlic bread. I'll just transfer it into the bread basket. So there is our honey chili uh, flake uh, ribs which are good to go. Uh, so we will be serving them with garlic bread as I said earlier and my husband made some uh, um, salad and we juiced some orange juice and carrot juice for me, my husband and uh, 
yeah, my son drinks orange juice. He doesn't like uh, fruit juice that is mixed. Uh, it, need, it needs to be pure juice. And uh, yeah, for dessert, my husband baked this um, apple cake. So it's going to be a fun evening of celebration and of family and just laughter and good times. So yeah, I hope next time um, I'll be able to do something Kenyan, um, something which may be familiar to some people, some may be familiar to other cultures because um, whatever I'm planning to do is also done in the Asian culture. But if you like my presentation, if you like what I made and um, the dishes I, I made, you are most welcome to uh, comment and uh, subscribe. And yeah, let's keep on talking and also cooking with Glavo. Thank you very much. Bye.